My name is Moran Samuel. I'm 31 years old and I'm a professional athlete. I do rowing and I do basketball. Physically rowing is very hard. I need to move a boat that weighs almost 28 kilos only with my arms and shoulders. You row backward and I can't see where I'm going to. Just keep doing the movement, focusing on your body and what it takes to just move the boat. Always want to get better, get faster. I woke up one morning and while I'm just getting ready to go out, I feel a sharp pain down my spine and I find it very hard to breathe. I realized something really, really bad is, is happening. Two hours later, I was completely paralyzed from the chest down. I guess that the first thing I thought was, am I gonna live? I just wanted to know that I'm gonna survive it. I was a physical therapy student and suddenly I have to be the patient. I'm learning on myself what it's like to be paralyzed, what it's like to lose things that you had before and, and to get through a, such a great change in your life physically. I started playing basketball when I was nine years old. After rehabilitation, I didn't want to hear about basketball at all. I didn't want to be an athlete. I looked at my body and I said, well, how can I be an athlete with this kind of body? It's not an able body, it's a disabled body. After about three years, I get a phone call saying they are rebuilding the wheelchair basketball national team. When I got to the basketball court and I sat on a basketball chair for the first time and I dribbled the ball and I shoot to the basket, I just, I fell in love again. You know, it was like in slow motion. I looked at my body and I felt whole and I felt, okay, I can work with that. I tried to look at obstacles and see how can I transform them to a challenge. I won my first gold medal and I was sitting there with the trophy in my hand and I was waiting for the national anthem of Israel and they couldn't find the national anthem, they couldn't find the Hatikva. I chose to take a deep breath and be creative and think of ways to turn it around. I took the microphone and I just sang Hatikva myself. Tikva is hope. The only limitation in life are the one that you set for yourself. I try to base everything on love. This is creativity for me.